In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a leaf rubbing. You're gonna need crayons or oil pastels and watercolor paint. And of course, you're gonna need some interesting, cool shaped leaves that you find outside your house. Try to find a variety of leaves, ones with different shapes and sizes, and you're gonna position them underneath your drawing paper. You wanna create an interesting composition without the leaves overlapping. So you wanna make sure that there's a little bit of space in between. Now you're gonna use a colored oil pastel or crayon, and you're gonna need to tear the paper off because um, we are gonna be using the side of the crayon or oil pastel. So using the side, I'm gonna carefully rub all, I'm gonna try to use, go in the same direction over and over again because the more times you change direction, the sloppier it gets. So. Try to make your strokes go in the same direction as much as you can, and you will see the leaves sh show through. For this next composition, I'm going to use a crayon instead of an oil pastel. So again, you're gonna have to make sure that you tear the paper off in order for um, the crayon to be able to be used for rubbing, because we're gonna use the side of the crayon. Your crayon might break, so go ahead and just use a smaller chunk and that is perfectly okay. You may need to go over your leaves a couple times to get them to really show up and get them to be nice and dark. And one important thing that is key is making sure that your leaves do not move underneath. They should stay still. Um, now I'm just using a little bit of a white oil pastel inside a couple leaves just to see what happens, just to make things look a little bit more interesting. I'm gonna remove the leaves from my workspace. I've got a black messy mat underneath and I'm gonna get my watercolor paints ready to go. So I'm gonna use the oranges because orange is the complement of blue. So orange and blue make each other stand out. So I'm gonna paint kind of inside the lines of all my leaves using this orange color. I'm really just enhancing the leaves that are already there, the leaves that we can already see making them stand out by using this extra color on top. Now you can see those little droplets forming on top of the oil pastel. That's because that white oil pastel is creating kind of a barrier there um, between the watercolor paint and the paper. So it's forming those droplets. Now I'm gonna pick a color that's gonna be very far away from orange on the color wheel because I want these leaves to really stand out against the background, but I also don't wanna leave that background looking white. So I'm using purple because purple is pretty far away from orange on the color wheel. And I'm gonna paint around the leaves. I'm gonna try and get the paint very close to the outside of the leaves, but I don't want that purple paint to mix in with the orange paint. So I'm gonna leave just a tiny little bit of space so that those colors do not mix. If there's a little bit of white on your paper showing by the time you're finished, that's okay. But do your best to fill in as much of that space as you can. If you need to get into some smaller spaces, find a smaller paintbrush to get in those little tiny areas and get nice and close to those leaves. All right, now I'm gonna take my red leaf rubbing and the complement of red is green. So red and green are directly opposite each other on the color wheel. So these two colors make each other stand out. So green and red just look really good next to each other. So again, I'm gonna be painting inside the lines of the leaves. I'm not gonna paint my entire paper green. I'm painting inside the lines of the leaves. And now for the background, I'm gonna pick red just to see what happens. The red paint and the red oil pastel are gonna kind of blend together. So there won't be a whole lot of interesting things happening in the background, but the green leaves are gonna stand out really, really nicely against the red background. And the green leaves also have that bit of red detail from the oil pastel rubbing, which makes them look very, very interesting. So again, you wanna paint around the leaves, not letting that red and green paint touch each other. We don't want them to mix and bleed together. So do your best to go right around the outside. 
I'm gonna make one last rubbing here just to show you what can happen with some different colors. So I'm going to use an orange crayon for this rubbing. Now using a crayon versus an oil pastel um, will kind of make your design a little bit lighter, but it might also make the background look a little bit neater because anytime I use a crayon, there's not a whole lot touching the background, but the leaves are showing up really nicely. So blue is the complement of orange, which is why I'm using blue on top of the orange leaves to make the detail in the leaves from the rubbing really stand out. Now by watching this video, you can decide what colors you like together, whether you like blue paint on orange crayon or orange paint on blue crayon. Um, you can decide what colors you wanna use where, but it's important that you use complementary colors when you are picking a paint color to paint on top of the leaves. Now for the background, I'm using this magenta because magenta is far from blue on the color wheel, so it will not make the leaves blend in with the background. So it's gonna make those leaves stand out against that background. So you are going to create three different leaf rubbings with three different sets of colors. Have fun.